Thanks for staying up late with us. A scare this afternoon for residents in an apartment complex on Madison's southwest side near Elver Park. Well, residents there will have to find another place to stay tonight after their building partially collapsed. Our Amy Reed shows us what they went through. From the outside, it looks normal, but the inside... It's um, like a war zone. I mean, it's like a bomb went off. It's just the floor is at like a 90 degree angle and there's debris all over. What we understand to have happened is that someone was doing remodeling down in the basement during the deconstruction phase of it, took out what turned out to be a, a load-bearing wall. We were in the apartment and I felt the dip in the floor and because the guy has been downstairs working all morning, so I went downstairs to tell him that something was wrong. And when I came upstairs to show him, we was in the apartment looking, then all of a sudden the floor just collapsed while we was in there. And I grabbed my wife and we ran up out of there and we ain't back in there since. That was sometime around 1 o'clock. The fire department wasn't on scene until 4.30. They didn't know until Michael Parisi called after he said the construction company didn't. Them not calling 911 right away, I mean, put everyone at risk, especially them. And then the management company not answering the emergency number. This is, this is ridiculous. That's uncalled for. Still, everyone got out safe. Some had to go back with escorts for their belongings. Others were happy to have everything they need on the outside. That was the first thing I did. Grabbed my dog. I didn't think about anything else. Luckily, my wife is at work. But now they wait and wonder. With an apartment deemed unsafe to occupy, where will they stay? I don't know if I even want to stay, stay here anymore now after that. So. Amy Reed, News 3 Now. Now, the Red Cross did come by, but because this isn't a natural disaster, they are not able to help.